Hey, hey, y'all, and welcome. My name is Tiffany. This is our small town life, in case you're new. Welcome to our channel. Today, I'm doing an updated home tour for you of our double wide mobile home. I did a home tour before we moved anything in, right after they delivered the home and they had just got it set up. I did a whole walkthrough and showed you everything. I'll link that video in case you haven't seen it. I've been meaning to do an updated home tour since we moved in and I just I haven't done it. We've been here a few months. And if I'm being honest, the reason why I haven't done it is because I was waiting on everything to be perfect, everything to be so-so for us to have all of our outdoor spaces finished, to have all the rooms just like we wanted them, to have everything unpacked and everything decorated. And um, you know what? That's taking longer than I originally anticipated. This is the first time that we've ever moved somewhere and started from raw land from scratch. You know, the whole front yard was dug up to put the septic tank in. We're doing all of our porches. It's the first time that we've ever done all of those things. And some things are taking longer than I thought they would. And so I put off doing this, but then the more I thought about it, I was like, you know what? Let's go ahead and do it because we share real life around here. And we're going to share this process with you. We have been. We share day-to-day -day life here on this channel. Showing you what it looks like to live in a small town in the southern United States. We'd love to have you subscribe and join us. Um, but you see our day-to-day -day life. You see inside of our home. But... I decided that let's just be real let's show where we're at show what hasn't gotten done what still has you know what plans we still have kind of show you what has changed since that first video because a lot has happened I went back and watched that video and I thought wow a lot has happened and I haven't really noticed it like you, when you're seeing it day after day after day you don't notice it as much then when I went back and watched that, I was like okay a lot has happened <laughs> But there's still a lot to do and we're going to take you through that process with us we'd love to have you subscribe and join us and kind of go along with us as we continue getting everything just right here on our one acre homestead and our double wide mobile home so this is a hamilton burlington double wide mobile home and the first thing you notice is hey we have more grass than what we <laughs> than what we had last time the whole front yard was tore up when they put the septic tank in we are still probably going to get some topsoil brought in to level things out a little bit. We have not done a front porch yet because we prioritized the back porch. You'll see that in a minute. We never use this door here. Now we will be building a porch very soon uh, just so that, you know, it looks nice and there is access to that door. I'd also like to plant some bushes all across the front of the house. Those are things that will be happening. They've just not happened yet. We're prioritizing y'all. This home does have a metal roof. I don't know if you can see that from here. And we chose the gray siding and we chose to do the thick white trim around the windows without shutters. Let's walk around the back now. This is the back side of the house and we park back here and go in this laundry room door. I'll show you that from the inside. We do have our back porch built. We just finished it. So there's still some cleanup and different things to do there. We've just finished that, and I love having that outdoor space to sit out here, watch the kids play, and enjoy our chickens. That was one thing that I said whenever I did that first tour was that I was excited and hopeful to see chickens and goats back here. We have our chickens, and goats are still in the work, still in the process. We also still have plans to build a little shed back here do some fencing those kinds of things and we'll be sharing all that with you but we have our sweet chickens out there and right here kind of off the porch we also have our fall garden going now we usually come in the laundry room door because that's where we park but for the sake of this video we're going to come in the front door and i'm going to start here in the living room now this is a four bedroom two bath home and it has a separate living room and den a lot of the times the what you see in videos we spend a lot of time in our kitchen and y'all see this living room behind us so you know it is still pretty empty this is the view when you come in the front door and i've had plans to put originally i was going to put a whole furniture set in here make this a full living room it has our piano in here and 
it hasn't happened yet. Most of our furniture, our TV, all those things are back in the den. And this space has been where the kids play a lot. And seeing how they utilize this space and how it works for us has kind of made me decide that I want to just put a small like, love seat or something in here, maybe with a coffee table, an end table, a lamp, and then leave a lot of open space for the kids to play. I definitely want to get some nice baskets or a wooden toy box or something to put in here. And I have a couch or a love seat that I think, <laughs> I think it's the one I want. I've been looking at it for a little while. I will probably order it this week or next week. We'll see, I haven't committed yet, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that I found the one that I want and it will just kind of go over here by the windows. Like I said, maybe a coffee table, an end table and a lamp, some nicer organization for um, the toys. This floor plan has these beautiful windows in here and they let in fantastic light. Now that the weather's been cooling off a little bit too, we've really enjoyed opening the windows and enjoying that. So this is a view of the living room right when you come in the front door. Like I said, still work to be done in here. And then straight across is the kitchen and the dining room and you can see those sliding doors that go out to the back porch. Over to my left is the master bedroom. We're gonna do that last, but here's our kitchen. And y'all, I absolutely love this kitchen. I love it. I will say this is the first time I've had white cabinets. We have four kids pregnant, <laughs> pregnant with number five in case you're new. Uh, so they get dirty and things show up very easily on them, but I still love the way it looks and I love how open it makes the kitchen look. I also, adore the island we use it for prep for food um I, I use it for when i do my grocery hauls we use this island so much it has been such a blessing having all this counter space and all the cabinet space i still have cabinets that don't have anything in them and hey real life our cups for the day are sitting there there's a few cups in the drainer um, you'll probably see some laundry and laundry baskets. We live here. <laughs> I do not have any bar stools yet. That's another one of those things that I've gone back and forth trying to decide if I want metal or if I want wood. So y'all let me know what you think would look best. I've gone back and forth on that, but I do plan to get four bar stools because this is quite a long um, area here. So I think I can fit, I know I can fit four bar stools comfortably. I could probably even do more. But the plan is for, I just can't decide if I want black metal or if I want um, darker wood. Another thing I like is that this island has an outlet on each end of it. So we put our air fryer and all different kinds of things up on this counter and plug it in right here when we're cooking. And we chose to do the dark wood shiplap under the counter and you'll see a couple of other spaces in the house where that matches. It's the same color that's on the beams. The sink and the dishwasher are in the island and I love that. I do, I really do. I like that when the kids are over here playing and I'm at the sink or whatnot, I can watch them. I just really like having it here. And if I spin around, let's slowly spin around for you. And right off the kitchen is our dining room space. We have plenty of room to have our deep freezer in here as well. Right off the kitchen is this hallway. And on the right side of the hallway are the bedrooms and a bathroom. Then the den is at the very end and then over here to the left, this first door is a pantry I'm about to show you, and then the second is a laundry room. So let's head down this way. Is my pantry as organized as I would like for it to be? No, <laughs> but do I love having this space? Yes. I want to get some food grade five gallon buckets that I can keep on the floor and like do bulk flour and rice and those kinds of things 
maybe get some baskets that actually match. Will we label things? I don't know. My canned food needs to be organized a little better. But this is real life and this is what it looks like right now. And I am so blessed to have this space and have a dedicated pantry. On down the hallway, the next door to the left is the laundry room. And that door back there is the door that we come in most of the time. I'm gonna go stand there and give you a look back towards the hallway. This is another one of those things that I wasn't real sure if I was gonna like, and that's a utility sink. I kind of thought that it might be better to just have counter space to utilize, but y'all, that thing right there gets used every single day. If you have the chance to get a utility sink, get one. This countertop is also different than what is in the rest of the house. So all the other places where you're, where you're gonna see countertop will be that light colored counter that we had in the kitchen. But I loved this and I wanted to use it somewhere so we chose to put it out here in the laundry room. And I love it and I love the way it looks with the white cabinets. Washer and dryer over here on this side. Back out in the hallway and then to the left is the den. And this is where we spend a lot of time. It's where we watch TV. A few of you have asked because you see the living room behind the kitchen when I'm doing videos. You said, do y'all not have a TV? This is where our TV is. And this is the space where we, I guess, hang out the most. And I chose to do the dark built-in cabinets on that back wall because I thought with all the white, the light colored walls and all the light colors that we have in the home, Having that dark focal wall would be nice, and I do really like that. You can also see back behind the TV is that dark shiplap with a dark mantle to match what's in the kitchen under the countertop. And then we chose to do rock around the fireplace. We've utilized these built-in bookshelves for some decorations and also some, for some practical purposes. All of our homeschool stuff is in here. Over here on this wall, we have our couch. I have my homeschool cart back there. I have uh, Justin's recliners over there. Off of the den, there's the bathroom right here in the center, and then two bedrooms. This is the kids' bathroom. how this space has turned out. Now I'm gonna kind of give you a peek into all of the bedrooms, all the kids' bedrooms. I'm not gonna show a whole lot in there just because that's their space and I don't know, but I am gonna give you a little peek into each of the three bedrooms that are on this end of the house. I try to give them some leniency when it comes to their rooms, but I do like for them to keep it clean. I let them, you know, they make their own bed. They keep their toys tidied up. But here's the first room. This one still needs some decorations <laughs> on the walls. That first one was Huddy's and he's doing kind of a dinosaur theme. This one's Easton's, and he has more of a hunting and outdoor-themed bedroom. He's got his desk over here in this corner. And all of these rooms have closets that are pretty much the same. They're a good size, especially for a kid's bedroom, or if you were going to use like as an extra guest bedroom or office or something. Perfect size for that. One of the things that I mentioned when... I did the empty home tour was I was talking about these walls and how with Hamilton they will not do full sheetrock and our plans were to come back in ourselves and sheetrock the kids bedrooms 
So in this particular home, the kids' bedrooms, the laundry room, and the bathrooms have these board and batten type walls. Y'all, I ain't changing it, at least not right now. These are so much easier to clean. And so those won't be changing. See, it's the same walls in the bathroom. I popped back in here to show you, but it's the same walls in the bathroom. And when the kids come in from outside and their hands are dirty and they come in here and touch the walls and everything else before they actually get to the sink to wash their hands, I can just come in with a wet rag, wipe it up, and they clean so much easier than any painted sheetrock I've ever had. Here's Audrey's room. A little peek at it. She just recently got this shelf right here. My mom got it for her for her birthday. And I hear a baby in there who must be wanting mama. But she has decorated this over here. Nice and cute. We hung up her puzzle that we all worked on together. Well, this is her room. A little peek at it. Same closet in here. Back down the hallway into the kitchen, dining room, living room area. That door right across from me is the master bedroom. Let's go have a look in there. So this room is master bedroom. It's mine and Justin's room. It's Wyatt's room right now. He'll be moving in with one of his brothers before long though. And then as soon as new baby gets here, it'll also be his room. So we've got to do a little bit of rearranging. This is one of those rooms where we're still trying to figure out exactly what works for us. Um, and how we want to arrange our furniture to make it work because I'll need to kind of set up a bedside nursery here before long. But Wyatt's bed's right here when you come in the door. He's over there taking a peek out the window. <laughs> and this is a good size room. It's just a matter of figuring out how we want to lay everything out. You want a brush? You want to brush your hair? Oh, you want yours? Okay, let's close this back up. Brush your hair. And here is our master bathroom. This is probably... This is one of my favorite places in the house and my favorite spaces aside from my kitchen and maybe even the den <laughs> i don't know but i do really love this space we have the separate shower and tub and in houses before like in our first home we had a, a separate shower and tub and i liked it in our rental home it was just like the combination tub shower you know what it's really not that big a deal to me but it's nice i guess having them separated I, I'm okay either way, I guess is what I'm getting at. But I do really like this. We did go with the tile shower. And I thought that the glass would be my biggest issue trying to keep it clean. That hasn't been. It's been the grout with this tile, y'all. It's given us a little bit of trouble. So when they moved the home in, some of it cracked in the corners they came in, they were supposed to fix it. They, they fixed it and it's just falling back out. I don't know. I love the tile and I love the way it looks. I'm just wondering if this grout is gonna continue to give us issues. Maybe not, maybe it'll get fixed right and we won't have any more problems out of it. It looks nice. We have the double sinks and when we first moved in, the one to the left, the faucet was broken, didn't work right. So we were, Justin and I were both using the one on the right. And I guess I just kind of got in the habit of that. Now this other sink rarely gets used. That's another one of those things where we've had double sinks in the past. We've had a single sink. I don't really prefer one way or the other. I guess it's nice to have two. And maybe I can train myself to start using this one over here. I don't know. But we've got some cabinets and the double uh, sink vanity area. And our tub. Toilet, you know, all the fun, exciting things. And some extra storage over here. This is where we keep towels, 
um, our medicines and stuff are stored up in that top cabinet. I want to get some more greenery to add on this wall over here. This is one of those things where we've just kind of started <laughs> getting this space put together like we want it. I want to add a little more over here. And then right here beside this cabinet where we have our towels, there's a door that leads into our closet. The light is not working in there right now. When the gentleman came that was doing some of the repairs and stuff, because y'all... <laughs> When you move in to a new home, a double wide, a, a mobile home is my experience as far as new home, but I feel like it would probably be this way regardless. There are still going to be things that you see that you're like, hmm, that needs to be fixed or that's not like I wanted it. I feel like especially maybe with a manufactured home or a mobile home, there's going to be things that you see. There are still things that they're coming and working on. They fixed a lot of things. But there are still things that they're coming and working on that we found after, you know, we came in and walked through the house, found after we moved in. And they had to do some work on the light switch in here. And when he was doing that, he messed up the light bulb. I think he probably just blew the bulb. But he said when he comes back, he's going to replace that for me so that we don't have to do it. And he's supposed to be coming back soon. We'll see. But the light doesn't work in there right now is what I'm getting at. We could probably just replace it ourselves, but it's not that big a deal. And because he blew it, I was like, let's let him fix it. <laughs> but this closet goes the whole length of the bathroom. So from the end of the shower all the way across. And I showed it, I believe, in that empty home tour. But it is a huge closet. Mine and Justin's things are in there. I have mine on one side. He has his on the other we have a lot of storage in there. That stuff you can see, the like little dressers you can see right there, those are Wyatt's. And then new babies, because I've started doing some organization there. That is in this closet. Tons of room in here. And there's a baby in there. Do you hear him? He thought he needed to go in there and play. Let's see what he comes out with. Oh, a pool toy. Did we find a pool toy? And that's a little peek of our home. Like I mentioned, this is a Hamilton. Burlington, four bedroom, two bath, double wide mobile home. We love it here. It's definitely feeling like home. It's treating us well. Still things that we're going to continue to work on here. Work on getting our homestead just like we like it. Work on getting our home just like we like it. And we'd love to have you as part of that journey with us. Uh, thank you for joining me today. Hopefully you found this helpful. Maybe this is a model home that you're interested in. Um, maybe you're just interested in double wides or mobile homes in general. Maybe you follow our family and just wanted to see what our home looked like. Whatever the case may be, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up because it really does help our channel. We love you. We appreciate you. We'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all. Mm -hmm.